Let's start with a question from Julie. Is it morally okay to pay dues and join an advocacy organization that also supports abortion in order to influence the people and the organization? So I assume it's, it supports something else as well, I, I would assume. Yeah, this is an interesting question. Um, and I'm pausing because, like many of the questions here, we're getting questions we've never gotten before and we haven't had to think about, which makes it kind of fun. But it also makes it harder to come up with an answer, especially when there's some com- complexity here, moral complexity. Um, I think it's one thing to attach oneself to a group in order to have an influence in the group. I I know of people who have um, joined atheist groups or skeptics groups uh, with their permission, even though they were Christians, because that gives them access to a lot of people who need the truth, and they're engaging with them. Nothing wrong with that. The trip up here is pay dues, because now you're giving money to an organization that is doing harm. Um, now, is the organization one that supports abortion or is involved in abortion? They could be ideologically in support of abortion. That, to me, is different because we we patronize all kinds of organizations who then, as an organization, support things we don't agree with. But that's our patronizing their organization is to buy a product— um, and, and not to help them with whatever other projects they have, political project, projects, and they may be multiple. Some we agree with, some we don't. I don't think I'm morally responsible for how a person uses the money that they earn from me through illegitimate means. Um, now, people may disagree with that. That's fine. And some might say, I don't think there really is a moral connection. You're right, Kokel. However, I just don't feel good about it. Fine, then don't do it. No beef. The question here was, is it moral to give funds to an organization? And could you finish the sentence? Because there's where I'm not sure. So um, is it okay to pay dues and join an advocacy organization that also supports abortion in order to influence the people and organization? Yeah, see, this is an advocacy organization. So their purpose is to advocate for certain causes, including an immoral cause. Sometimes I think it's easier to answer this question if we change the immoral thing in question. So to me, the best substitution for doing this little exercise is slavery. So is it immoral to pay dues to an organization that is an advocacy group that includes advocating human slavery or sexual trafficking, if you will? Well, I think most people would say immediately, no, that ain't right. Okay, so um, in this particular case, I think that that would be the proper answer. No, it ain't right. Because you're giving the to, money to the group that is itself in existence for the purpose of advocating certain points of view, some that are clearly immoral. And uh, by the way, abortion is worse than human slavery. It's worse because in human slavery— people are enslaved. In abortion, people are killed. So one certainly is more egregious than the other. The second, not the, more egregious than the first. So this is why, to argue from the lesser to the greater, if, if it's not legitimate, if it seems to us not legitimate to support an advocacy group that advocates slavery— then it would not be legitimate for us to support financially a group that advocates a greater moral harm, and that would be abortion. What do you think? Well, I think I think first to say that's nothing to say that slavery is less bad than people think. That's to say that abortion is worse than most people think. Thank you. Right. Um, so what I would say, too, is that you are very unlikely to change the organization. Even if you you mentioned people who go to the atheist group to so that they have access to atheists and they can interact with them, even in that situation, 
it's good to have access to people who have those beliefs so you can talk to them and you might influence a few people, but you're not going to change that group to not be an atheist group anymore. Mm -hmm. That's just not going to happen. I think the same is true with the organization. You, you may interact with a few people, although I'm not even sure how joining an organization and paying dues – maybe this is something a local – Gives you so, a voice. Yeah, yeah. Are you actually yeah. going to see these people? I don't know. Um, do you have a vote? I don't know. It's very unclear and maybe there would be a different – maybe it would be different depending on if it's a local organization where you actually – you actually have an influence. But in most organizations, just joining them is not going to change the overall goals of the organization. That just seems so unlikely. Right. So I think everything you said there is fair, Greg. I, I would – obviously, I don't have all the facts in this case, but I would probably argue against it. 